Dun, dun. Howdy, folks. Good, <laughs> good <laughs> evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to uh, another long-awaited commentary Let's Play. It's been a little while since we finished Deception Island. We've been very busy this summer. And this will probably be our last co-op Let's Play together for a little while. Though we do have some little festivities planned for 1,000 subs, which we are rapidly approaching. Oh, yeah. So, anyways, today we are finally playing game number 10 together, Secret of Shadow Ranch. It's a summertime classic. It's an all-rounder, all-season classic. Everything about this game is just... Classic. Yeah. It's one of the... It's easily the best game that's based off a book. The only other one being the uh, Secret of the Old Clock, which many of you know my opinions on that game. <laughs> I think it's hard to find someone who doesn't like this game. Yeah. It's a lot of people's favorite. It's iconic. It does a lot of things really well. And it was kind of like a, a milestone for the her interactive community, game number 10. And... Smack dab right in the middle of the Golden Age. I think it's time that we go ahead and jump into this one. So... Are Welcome we doing senior? My case, oh my goodness. I think we have to. to start, choose junior or senior detective. Oh my gosh. Mm, that, we, we can do it. We can do it. That choose magnet puzzle is going to tear me a new one. I'll, I'll take Hattie. care of it. Well, I made it to Shadow Ranch, but I'm afraid all is not well. The Raleigh's, the people who own the ranch, have been called away on some kind of emergency. They had Dave Gregory, he's their foreman, pick me up at the airport. He gave me a phone number, told me to call the Raleigh's at that number as soon as I got settled in and refused to tell me anything else. In fact, he barely said two words to me the whole ride to the ranch. What's worse, Bess and George aren't here yet, which is very strange, because even though we had to take different flights, we figured we'd get into Phoenix at about the same time. Hmm. Being here without them feels odd. After all, the Raleigh's are their aunt and uncle, not mine. I wouldn't even be here if Bess and George hadn't begged them to invite me out to the ranch for two weeks, too. Until about three months ago, the Raleigh's owned a clothing store. Bess said it was always hmm. their dream to sell the store and buy a cattle ranch. Trivia? I hope Trivia? Here, <laughs> but frankly, as beautiful as Shadow Ranch is, I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this place. Love, Nancy. That was a really good opening letter. I, I think the music is really what makes it, because it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's so sp sinister. Well, it just established a lot, too. I like that... Nancy goes over absolutely no relation to the Raleigh's, and it's yeah. kind of... This is this is probably one of the most awkward positions she's ever been in. Yeah, and it's also awkward that there's no music. What the frick? Yeah, where is it? This is weird. I'm used to the music starting as soon as I open the game. I know, what the heck is happening? Where's my music? <laughs> Please, I need the ranch ballad. Okay, this is so weird. Okay. Um, I need music. I need... There, there we go. go, finally. So, uh... Super trick. Now that we have our soundtrack, I think we're supposed to go ahead and start off by calling the Raleigh's. Francis Humber. Wonder who she was. Oh, Nancy, you're gonna find out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, directory. There we go. The Raleigh's. That's give right. We, give him a ring. We don't have to actually manually dial ten-digit numbers in this game. Thank you for a directive. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Raleigh. It's Nancy Drew. Nancy, are you at the ranch? Yes, and I'm a little concerned that you're not. Yeah, what's going on? Nobody around here will tell me anything. Well, not that we've That's asked. That's because I told them not to. I wanted you to hear what happened from the horse's mouth, as it were. <laughs> I thought you might worry otherwise. But I am worrying. I can't help but think that something terrible's happened. Oh, everything's fine. I mean, it is now. It wasn't last night, of course. Everything would have been fine last night if you hadn't made such a fuss. How could I not make a fuss? There was a rattlesnake in our bedroom for Pete's sake. Whoa. That explains the beeping in the back of their call. Don't tell me you're at the hospital. Yes, we are. Although I'm only here because Ed's here. He's the patient. I'm just here to keep him company. You can go home anytime you want. Oh, someone's got to keep you out of trouble. Next thing I know, you'll be playing with scorpions. I wasn't <laughs> playing with that snake. I was trying to shoo it out of the room. I told Ed to leave it alone and let one of the hands get it out of there, but no, Ed started poking at it with my yardstick, and all of a sudden it leapt up and bit him. Well, how badly? How bad? Well, his arm swelled up something awful, and he was feeling pretty poorly by the time we finally got him here. I was fine. She's exaggerating. Oh, Ed, you wish. Anyway, dear, he's doing much better today, and the doctors think he'll be well enough to go home in a day or so. I'm well enough to go home right now. No, you're not. <laughs> I don't think you're with him. He'll get up and walk right out that door. I like how his initials are ER. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I... I never caught that emergency room, Ed Raleigh. Oh, man, I, I associate with Ed. He reminds me of me. <laughs> what can I do to help you? Oh, nothing, dear. Absolutely nothing. You just go get a horse from Tex. He's the head wrangler. And go riding to your heart's content. 
I told Shorty to go ahead with the cookout I planned for tonight and the envelope. Have her take that envelope to Mary. Okay, so it looks oh. like they are having us do stuff. <laughs> There's an envelope in the roll top desk in the den marked Mary. If you could ride over to Mary Yazzie's and give it to her, we'd really appreciate it. All right, that like sounds pretty good. Nancy's like, is there any way I can help? And they're like, no, just, <laughs> just go out riding. And then it's just suddenly like, nope, we have to do all this too. <laughs> I'd love to. Is there an address on the envelope? They will tell you how to get there. She's going to have to get the key to the desk from him too. Oh, that's right. I always lock the roll top. Dave has the key. Oh, dear. It seems like there was something else I wanted to tell you. The horse, bitch. Tell her about the phantom horse. Did he say phantom, phantom horse? Phantom horse? <laughs> see, last night we... Hello, Mr. Raleigh. Time for those tests. It's Bluefoot. Oh, mm -hmm. We have to go. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, my gosh. You just go have fun. Just be sure to wear a hat and drink plenty of water. It's going to be another hot one. Bye. No, wait. Just tell me about the... I think that would be... Phantom horse? I think that would be the first thing I would tell Nancy. Yeah, actually. Man, that was that was undeniably Nurse Bluefoot mm -hmm. from Game 6. I've never I've never recognized that. Does that confirm that the rallies are in Washington, D.C.? Maybe Bluefoot got a transfer. I don't know. <laughs> they had to life flight him all the way to Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> Such right. good music. Paint dries in record time due to record heat. Local science teacher says spending day watching paint dry. It's the most fun he's had in years. Oh my god. <laughs> Poor man. Hey, Burnett Spammerwickle wins the Tumbleweed Crusty Chitlins Chili Cook-Off. Wow. Hmm. Schnauzer abducted from backyard. Aliens did it. Okay, that's The great. Spammerwickle family. Man, this is uh, probably one of the hottest weeks of the summer that we're going through right now, so this is a pretty fitting game. That's not the right time. It must be broken. Nancy, do you see the color code around that? That's obviously something. Obviously a puzzle, Nancy. Have you learned nothing? I, I really like the architecture of these, like, southern houses that are, yeah, it's all it's one a, floor. What's it? It's, I mean, it's a ranch-style dwelling, but, yeah. like, the architecture, is that, um, adobe or pueblo is, is yeah, what you call it's, it? it's one of those. I think it's so cool. And we have our first Who's human. Who is this fine gentleman? Hmm, yes. Hey, you must be Nancy. I'm the cook, Shorty Thurmond. Welcome to Shadow Ranch. Come on over here and tell me about yourself. You have talked to the Raleys, right? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, we have. Bet said something about a phantom horse. Do you know what she was talking about? Sure do. See, I was just about to crawl into bed last night when all of a sudden this glowing horse comes galloping up outside. It stops and rears and paws, whinnying and snorting. Then it just wheels around and gallops off into the night. It was Dirk Valentine's horse, you know. Oh. Now it's Ooh. a phantom. Do you think Shorty has a good voice actor? He's got a great voice, voice actor, yeah. I've, I've always loved talking, chumming with my boy Shorty. Dirk mm -hmm. Valentine? Dirk Valentine was an outlaw around here back in the 1880s. Legend has it he was in love with Frances Humbert. Oh, look. She lived right here on Shadow Ranch. Wow. Unfortunately, her daddy was the sheriff. We're already getting all the pieces. Yeah. Wow, I was just noticing that is an alarming amount of garlic he has hanging from the ceiling on his left and right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Ouch. Because of him, Valentine was captured and eventually hanged. Ever since, the ghost of his horse has been roaming the desert, cursing whoever sees him with bad luck. That's a cool premise. I mean, do you believe it, though? You don't really believe that, do you? All I know is, Ed Raleigh sees the horse, and what happens less than two minutes later? He gets bit by a rattlesnake. Sounds... You do the math. <laughs> that was his own doing, according to Bet. Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. Yeah, he must be, like, hunting vampires in his free time or something. <laughs> I like that art in the top right. The, the, horse. <laughs> the horse with the feed bag around his neck. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's a muzzle, I don't even know. Hey, you're crowding me here, Nancy. I need elbow room when I cook. Sorry. It's a okay, nice looking sassy. stove there. Man, I've always wanted a wood-burning stove. I've said that before. Nice oven you got here. And a, a jar of sugar named mm -hmm. labeled sugar. Mm -hmm. All right. Such good music. Wow back home takes my breath away <laughs> every time i know like actually just walking outside it does bring back memories to the first time i played this game oh i've got a good story about that if we ever had the my time my antiperspirant's going to get a workout today nancy okay nancy so then uh we're supposed to speak with the head wrangler right let's go meet some cowpoke yeah should we uh who's this fine stud yeah the man urinating on the chickens you talk to the raleys oh there he is i sure did do you think ed's gonna be all right he'll be okay Getting bit by a rattler's no picnic, but it sounds like he's out of the woods. This is Dave. He's the guy who picked us up from the airport, who said literally nothing on the way back. Shorty <laughs> told me about the phantom horse that appeared just before it happened. Did you see it too? 
It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Guess you're gonna be asking me a lot of questions, huh? We've asked him one question so far. If that's correct, we should not be apologizing. I don't know. Why do you ask? The Raleigh said you were a detective. Oh, I see. Amateur mm. detective. It's just kind of a hobby. Okay, Nancy is not an amateur at this point. <laughs> we were short a couple hands to begin with, and now with the Raleigh's gone and everybody on edge over what happened last night, well, this is not a good time to be visiting Shadow Ranch, that's all. Uh, well, we've got some chores to do, so let's ask about this. The Raleigh's right. asked me to take something out to Mary Yazzie's, but it's in the den in the roll-top desk, which is locked. They said you had the key? Sure do. They gave me their key ring at the hospital. Great, thanks. And that's a fine key right there. To get to Mary's shop, just follow the trail that goes northeast out of the corral. Can't miss it. And I should probably warn you, she doesn't like the Raleigh's. Ooh. How come? How do you know? It's just the feeling I get when I talk to her, that's all. Potential motive? Possibly. I, I don't like that stilled chicken. <laughs> <laughs> that chicken is very intent on remaining motionless. How do you think that rattlesnake wound up in the Raleigh's bedroom? Probably crawled in through a mouse hole sometime during the day and took a nap. Night time's when they're most active. Something the Raleigh's found out the hard way. Mm. Has that happened before? Has anything like that ever happened here before? Not since I've been here. Well, How that's long a have you been here, Dave? Guess we can't ask him. I'll let you get back to work. Ma'am? Actually, no, he was their newest hire. I think he said God, that. It does look like he's peeing on the chickens. <laughs> That's <laughs> unsettling. Oh, man. I mean, what else does a man have to do? <laughs> Not pee on chickens. <laughs> okay. Uh, here's their little vegetable garden. Uh, oh, there's, there's like, horses or cows out there. Yeah, that's cattle. That's, uh, those are some... I think they're bulls. They have horns, yeah, don't they? Yeah, they're bulls. Yeah, I think so. And they are also remaining completely still. Ah, yes. PTSD. Uh, <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll put that off for a little bit, because I don't think we're ready to tackle the vegetables today. Okay. This is where we find the man? Yep. The myth, the legend? Uh, good old Bruce Wayne. So which one are you? <laughs> do you think he has a good voice actor? Yeah, I, I do think that he was kind of on the Batman craze when he did his lines, but still. <laughs> Excuse me? The Raleigh said they were going to be inviting some young ladies out here. I take it you're one of them. Yeah. I'm Nancy Drew. My two friends haven't arrived yet. Why not? Actually, that's a good question. Is it important, though? Is that important? I brought three horses in this morning. Hardly fair to keep them tied up all day if nobody's going to ride them. Hmm. So you're in charge of the horses. So you're in charge of the horses? I'm the head wrangler. You want to ride, you come to me. You prove to me you know what you're doing, I may just let you. How do I prove to you that I know what I'm doing, though? How do I prove to you I know what I'm doing? First thing you're gonna do is never ride unless you're wearing a hat and gloves. And unless you got a full canteen of water, you can wear that hat over there. It's Mrs. Raleigh's. Got a helmet built right in. Her gloves are on the saddle you'll be using, and you can get a canteen from Shorty. Then you're gonna saddle and bridle your horse. No need to brush them. I do that when I bring them in. Then you're gonna lead him to the mountain block in the corral and mount up. Then I'm gonna ask you some questions. You can't ride outside the corral till you get all the answers right. That was an info bomb. Yeah, right there it was. Once I pass your test, can I ride any time I want? Long as you talk to me first. When you're done riding, you're gonna dismount, poke your horse up, take the saddle and bridle off and put him back where you got him. Always keep your gloves with your saddle. Which horse would you like me to ride? The bay over there. Name's Bob. If you get off when you're on the trail, don't tie your reins to nothing. Just drop them. And barring an earthquake or something, old Bob will stay put. Hmm. That was a lot of apostrophes. <laughs> uh, can I go riding now? May I go riding now? Nope. With the Raleigh's gone, the ranch is real short-handed. Before you ride, you're gonna have to go see if Shorty's got any chores that need doing. Oh, boy. Gotta get a canteen from him anyway. Oh, boy. Well, I'm curious what he thinks of the Phantom Horse, though. Yeah, yeah, he's probably gonna think it's hogwash or something. Did you see the Phantom Horse last night? I saw something. Just what? I still ain't sure. Never mind, then. He, um, seems a bit believing. Talk to you later. Just stay out of trouble. Well, then. It uh, must be scorching hot in here. Definitely, yeah. I don't, I don't see any air conditioning. I know, I was just thinking that. Copper wiring. Oh, wait, no, that's just rope. Uh, well, we can open the roll top, and we'll talk to Shorty. That's true, yeah. I think you told us to pick up a hat and gloves. Wait a minute. Go back to that... Go back to that poster, right? Uh, that looks just like... What's his name? 
um, from Red Dead 2. Shoot, why can't I think? Which one? Micah? Micah, yeah. It looks just <laughs> like Micah. I can, I see it. He's got the, he's got the gnarled look to him. And the exact facial hair. That's pretty crazy. Filthy rat. Let's see. <laughs> Before hitting the trail, always check your girth. Uh, so we're supposed to pick up this hat and gloves here, too. Oh, no, that's the saddle and gloves. I'm lugging that around. Okay, no, just put this down. I read, actually, in the speedrunning Discord that you don't actually have to pick up this hat, which mm -hmm. has saved people as many as two seconds. Wow. But I guess we will anyways. It's nice to have. Yeah. I'd hate to be out here in the boonies without a hat. Otherwise, we got a whole bunch of horse feed, cattle feed, stuff like that. Let's go meet the beast. Well, hello there. Aww. You got some friends back there? Clyde and Ace. I'm Ace Hi Gang there. Supremacy. You two aren't too shabby looking either. Ace Gang. Wow. I wonder if the white horse is named Ace is enough reference to Pac-Man. Because I think that was the name of the white ghost. Or he's named Clyde. That's what it yeah, was. Ace is the, the light brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Horse animation. Tex would have a cow if I rode bareback. <laughs> <laughs> he would probably just murder Nancy on sight. <laughs> Uh, Dave's still pissing, I see. Hello? Oh, I forgot about these two. Hi, I'm at the ranch. Where are you guys? Yes. Uh, not gonna like this. Uh oh, I'm not going to like this, am I? We're at the airport in Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> what? <laughs> How? Here so they could fix some problem with the radio, and now they're saying we could be on the ground for hours. So much for a flyover state. Hours? You're kidding. Who knows what's really going on? Yeah, no one around here ever gives you a straight answer. So what's going on there? Hmm. That is the best ending to a song. <laughs> yeah, sorry. A lot. a lot, I guess. <laughs> Last night, Uncle Ed and Aunt Bet found a rattlesnake in their room. Oh my gosh! Are they okay? <laughs> well, actually, it bit Uncle Ed. <gasps> is he alright? He will be. Right now, he's in the hospital. He'll probably be there for a day or two. Aunt Bet's staying with him. Oh my gosh! And apparently a phantom horse showed up at just about the same time as that snake. A phantom horse? Of all the times to get stranded in some stupid airport. Look, you just better keep us posted, Nancy Drew. That's all I gotta say. We're so bored, George just bought a book on 19th century clothing and accessories. <laughs> Uh, sure. obvious foreshadowing. The only thing in the bookstore here that looks halfway interesting. That looked halfway interesting? Cut. ...related to 19th century fashion. Let us know, okay? Sounds good to me. So what else has been going on? Uh, well, let's tell them about the glowing horse. Apparently last night, this glowing horse came galloping up out of nowhere, caused a huge commotion, then went galloping off and disappeared. It was glowing? Apparently. Mm -hmm. It looked like it was glowing. It's kind of sus. are investigating phantom horses, and what are we doing? A big fat nothing. That does it, George. We're suing the airline. <laughs> <laughs> the cook, Shorty Thurman, he says the phantom horse belonged to this outlaw named Dirk Valentine, who was hanged back in the 1880s. Is this Valentine guy a phantom too? Uh, I don't think so. Well, how come his horse got to become a phantom and he didn't? Good question. That phantoms it's don't good... really exist. Good call. Okay. <laughs> According to legend, seeing the horse is bad luck. I believe it. I mean, look at what happened to the guy who owned him. <laughs> Don't you think it's kind of odd how that rattlesnake showed up in the Raleigh's bedroom right after that phantom horse showed up outside? You don't buy that it was an unfortunate coincidence? I, that's uh, what I buy, Nancy. Mm. What did the horse do? Throw the rattlesnake in the house? Mm -hmm. That's true. Dave said when the horse appeared, everyone ran outside to look. So, you're saying someone used the horse to lure everyone outside, then put the snake in their room, knowing no one would be watching? It's possible, don't you think? A bit but conniving. Right, it means someone wants to hurt Aunt Bet and Uncle Ed. Oh my gosh! If you're right, it means that someone is on the ranch! And whoever it is must be working with an accomplice. You know, someone to wrangle the horse. So everyone there is a suspect. That's right. Mm. You don't have to sound so happy about it. Even Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Well, we'll call it a wrap with them for now. That's it for now. Two words, Nancy. Call us. All right. Best jo Bess and George. Let's see. So we're supposed to ask Shorty about chores 101. What's this? Oh, this is like measurements. That's cool. 
cow. Oh my god, the teeth on that cow is terrifying. How have I never noticed that? <laughs> oh my god, that does not look like cow teeth. It's like if you put human he- yeah, teeth on them. Yeah, it is. The sheriff's number's here, too. Hmm. Tumbleweed, Arizona. Just is Tumbleweed a- the name of a town? Yeah, I think so. It's hmm. a good I mean, town. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't have it written there. Classic. Hey, shorty. Hey there, Nancy. Man, I wish the Raleigh's were here. Me too. It'll be nice to talk to them in person. I'm really looking forward to you and me sitting down and having a nice conversation. Especially with all the weird stuff that's going on. I'm so busy getting all their chores done in addition to my own that I barely have time to talk to myself, let alone to you. Enough of me complaining. What's up? Well, Tex told me about getting some chores from you. Tex said I should get a canteen from you and see if there are any chores you'd like me to do. <laughs> no. Music to my ears. It's time. No. The first thing you can do for me is go out to the garden and pick all the ripe vegetables. You know what ripe vegetables look like, don't you? Oh, uh, of uh, course, Shorty. Oh, sure we do. You bet I do. Good, because if you pick vegetables that aren't ripe yet, I'll be real <laughs> tick. You can put them in the vegetable basket that's hanging uh, outside. And one more thing. Sometime today, I need you to build a cooking fire in the pit outside. Okay, that I'll one's light fun. it when I'm ready to start cooking. And be sure to fill the bucket out there with water and leave it by the pit. You know, just in case something catches on fire that isn't supposed to. The Raleigh's wanted to have a cookout tonight, and by golly, we're gonna have a cookout no matter who is or isn't here. Mm. All right, then. Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. Um, Setting up the worst saga of the game let's put off the vegetables for as long as possible <laughs> so first let's get this roll top desk open we should have the key here yep this game had a lot of inventory items arizona hey that's right. the sunset picture isn't it i'm not sure it might yeah okay then let's throw this in here We're looking for a letter Ooh, it, this it looks one? like that's on the right mary yeah mary Yazi. mary Yazi. can we open it no, I guess we're just going to... That would be intrusive, Jameson. Oh, yeah, you know what else to be intrusive? This. <laughs> to Ed and Bet Raleigh. Just because you fired me, don't make another mistake and think that you have heard the last of me, because you haven't. We all know that I deserved a second chance. Let me go without giving me one with just playing wrong. Sounds like this Jane Nash person has it out for the Raleigh's. In fact, you know what your problem is? You don't believe in justice. But see, I do. That's the way my brother and I were raised. There are two of them. <laughs> Justice always prevails, although sometimes it needs a little help. Is this Batman? You'll see Jane Nash. It sounds like it. Is this light Yagami? to marry Yazi. Raleigh sold a bunch of... Okay, so it looks like they've been in business with this merry lady before. Hmm. Steamer trunk containing junk items from Shadow Ranch, just like every steamer trunk in Fallout 4. What else is in here? <laughs> Those three things up on the top left. Can I see them? Top left, top left. Oh, my bad. Yeah, you're right. These look like Allen wrenches. They but do, yeah. they don't actually seem to have any hexagonal prong on them. That's weird. All right, is that all there is in here? Guess so. Bookshelf. Are there useful books in this game? Because I don't remember what any of these books are. I don't even think you can look at any of them. I always thought that was a weird design choice. Uh, how about this side? Oh. oh, no, they can, can. A City Slicker's Guide to Ranch Horses Book 2. Where's Book 1? I'm like, horses used primarily for recreation or competition. Oh, uh, this will come good. in handy. Yeah, possibly. Have you ever seen a draft horse? They're, they're like, terrifyingly huge horses. <laughs> it's I'm pretty sure that uh, in... I'll bet there's a picture of one somewhere in here. In uh, Red Dead 2, I'm pretty sure that Bill's horse was a draft horse. I know exactly what horse you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it was thing was like a it's a monster. Enormous beast. Uh, were, were there pictures of draft horses in here? Dappled gray. You wouldn't boy. be able to tell, there's no scale. Maybe this is just I mean, still, their hooves look crazy. It's like elephant feet. It says this is book two. Where's book one? Another shelf over here. I didn't even know there was Like Win Charlena Purcell! Winner of the Catherine Coop Award for Historical Excellence. To bet. Charlie. I didn't know she put a personal note in there. That's kind of interesting. Nice. So it looks like she's a fan of women. Oh, wait a minute. These books are familiar. Yeah. We, these books are in danger on Deception Island. Harvey Herring and the Title oh, Terror. One of them is. I'm... Harvey Herring and the sauc- Saucier Stove. <laughs> it's supposed to be Sorcerer's Stone. Oh, my yeah. God. Wait, these are all supposed to be Harry Potter books. This is what it is. Harvey Herring 
and the seasick orca. Harvey Herring and the Clallum Clambake. Wow. And this one's huge. Harvey Herring and the Border in Phoenix, Arizona. That doesn't sound very good. <laughs> All right. Maybe that book is like... Because the fifth book, uh, Order of Phoenix, Order of the Phoenix was one. huge, and it was blue. And that was the Border of Phoenix, as opposed to the Order oh, of Phoenix. Oh my goodness! Oh, that's crazy. Good work. Good work, Good Interactive. Job, Interactive. The Border of Phoenix. <laughs> that is genius. And they intentionally made it like a bigger book, too. Yeah, that's funny. This and wait a minute, you know, wait, when this game came out, that was the most recent books? That was the most recent oh one, wasn't goodness. it? Oh, that's so funny. We're the real detectives here. <laughs> Uh, hey, look, this one's tossing squid and other rituals. It's a squid toss reference. Jeez. Wow, it's not often that you can see the titles. That's funny. All right, then. Let's see if we can't get a campfire built before we call it. <laughs> I can't believe that. That is such a cheeky reference. Harvey Herring and the Border of Phoenix. Okay, uh, he told us to fill that up with water, didn't he? To, in case something catches fire that shouldn't. Uh... Oh, you know what we need? We need tinder first for the campfire. So I think we can just pull that out of the junk newspaper. Good call, good call. I'm going on a camping trip tomorrow in Shenandoah with my buddy Eddie. Should be an interesting time because it's going to be 90 degrees. Bank robbers? Oh. Bank robbers spotted at a local hmm. gas station. That's no good. All right. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Okay. Now, for the hardest part of this puzzle. Wonder who wrote this. Oh, there's something already here. Luai Dene Ermo Fi. Noso Kache Nyaga. Okay, that means nothing. <laughs> he just said a curse. On the, <laughs> I have on the cursed ranch. the ranch. There will be two phantom horses tonight. <laughs> okay. Um, or maybe that wards them off. Maybe that's what you have to say. Possibly. When it comes by. Does this game feature connect chat? And then it just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. So we need to find a bunch of little uh, scraplings, don't we? Little bits of wood. Because I'm so bad at finding them. Yeah, they're everywhere. I need something to put the fire out. There is no urgent fire, Nancy, but just in case. Go ahead and take that. What else is in here? This is the pump house, right? Bunch of dusty old cans and knickknacks. Kind of reminds me of a ghost dog's shed. Yeah, I feel that. Looks like nothing. Okay, what else is going on? I'm not sure where to look for the sticks. Is that one over there? I know, it's always one of the hardest parts of the game, <laughs> finding all these things. I guess we gotta split the lumber first. This puzzle's not as hard as I remember. Call it's me just, Nancy, Paul, Bunny, and Drew. Like, this one's slightly to the side, so I'm just gonna do that and stand here. That should be a split. There we go. Beautiful. And now another one. So that one's in the middle, and the gavel's leaning far to the right, so we're gonna strike it from the right. And then one more. And Straightforward. Yeah, bring it down like a hammer, because it is a hammer. Oh yeah. There, just call me Nancy Paul Bunyan Drew. We oh, already made that my. joke, Nancy. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Tinder or kindling—that's what we need. 